Yo guys, what's going on? This is Yoki Man here and welcome back to another episode of this FIFA 21 career mode here with Bia Real. And we've got some fun games in today's episode. I'm looking forward to it. We've got another one here, probably three or four games, more likely four. Seems to be the, the right balance for us at the minute, the four game mark. And I'm pretty happy with that. It's going well so far. The season is going well so far. As you can see there, we're doing pretty decently in the league. Only Barcelona so far being able to keep up with us. But first of all, boys, if you're new around here, you're new to the channel, please smash the subscribe button. Thank you very much. We think at this point, 30 off 1K. I cannot believe how close we're going to be to 1K. I mean, we've worked our balls off this year. It's been a year of really trying to grow this channel. And you guys have all come in and become a part of it. And I appreciate each and every one of you. If you do go on to enjoy the video, smash the like button. It helps them do better. Leave comments, leave feedback. And also, the link's down below to socials. Follow me on Twitter. I feel like I don't push Twitter enough which is a great place for you to find out information like when I've gone live, when the next video goes up, and just general nonsense that I like to tweet. But anyway, that's enough about me. Let's get in to the first game against Granada here with the Yellow Submarine. We've got some mail to look at first, and I don't think it's going to be anything interesting. This will be the lineup for the Granada game. Anaki Williams, Adeyemi up top. I mean, it's very similar. It's kind of what we do now. This is kind of the... Regular formation while Gerard Moreno is out. Draxler seems to be getting a lot of game time out on the right. Chukweze is on the bench today. I am kind of saving him for the game after this. I'm also thinking in my head that if we do need to bring a striker on, Chukweze can actually play up top. This should be business as usual for the yellow submarine. The aimer there tries to play that through to Anaki Williams. That's not a bad ball through and not a bad shot here early in the game. Robert Tone will stand it up and try and lift it into Ali Aime. We're not going to get it to him. Nice bright start for the yellow submarine here. We should be putting teams like Granada on the back foot though. Forward now. Granada, good ball through and a good goal. A very, very good goal. Defensively, I don't think we were good enough there to be honest with you. Maybe Lafont could have come out for the ball. But leaky, leaky Villarreal seems to be the, the theme this season and it seems to be continuing here in this episode. It's some nice pass work. I think there's moments where we could have nicked the ball back. It's a beautiful ball in, but... I don't know, maybe Lafont could close it down. Maybe Moreno could get there quicker. It's not good enough. 1 0 down. And he aimed there just brilliantly to get that to Draxler. And is this the opportunity to get one back? Draxler fires his way through. And the defender's back there in time. That's not good enough, is it? He's got to find the back of the net to get blocked there. He just wasn't quick enough. Great play here to Draxler. Fires it in. And Aki Williams. Oh, it's well saved. That is absolutely fantastic from the goalkeeper. Ali Aime making that run, and he might be in, and he is in, and there we go. The ball from Anaki Williams to Ali Aime just before half time to equalise. That is exactly what we needed in this game. That'll make it 1 1. 1 1 at half time. We've been the better side, but once again, showing that we're a little bit weak in the defence. Defensive frailties, I suppose you could say, which is crazy because we had a good defence last year, but seem to concede a hell of a lot this season. Naki Williams in a bit of space. Williams there finds Adi Aime. Not bad touch from him. Fires it back across Robert Tone at the start of the half. Exactly what we needed. 2 1. We've taken the lead here in Granada. Absolutely fantastic play. Link up play from the front boys again. And that's another goal for Robert Tone. No wonder Man City was sniffing around him. This season he's been superb. He continues to grow, continues to improve. It's a nice play. Adi Aime slots him in. And he's not going to miss them. Villafeu. And Aki Williams here fires off the shot. What a save that is from the goalkeeper. Nice bit of play again. Just pulling them apart. And Aki will be upset that he hasn't got himself a goal here with that one. I guarantee it. But we do have the resulting corner. Pau Torres is in there. He heads it over the bar. We know he's got a goal in him from corners. That one wasn't to be. Batone again now found in space. And that might have been bad timing. Adi Aime is going to get himself on it. He's going to chip the keeper. And he's going to score it. And it's an unbelievable finish. The referee took his sweet time to put the flag up for a brief moment. I thought he might be on. It's close. It's just his arm, really. And his knee. No, it's his knee. But what a cool, calm, collective finish that was. Naki Williams there wants to play in Felipe Anderson. He has done Felipe Anderson. Pulls it wide. Oh, that was a good bit of play. He'll be kicking himself then at number seven. I don't think it was miles wide. He went for a lot of power on that one, didn't he? Oh, he's just past the post. Oh, mistake made. Oh, that's good from Truckways, eh? Alvarez fires it through to Adeyemi, surely to finish the game off. And there we go. Done and dusted. Mistake really there in the midfield from Granada, which we haven't really seen in this match today. But that was too easy not to capitalise on it. Was booze ring around the stadium with disappointment? It's because of a 3-1 victory here for Villarreal. 
in which Adeyemi got himself a brace. What a player he's turning out to be. We might have to do a spotlight video on him. First game of the episode done and dusted with a victory. 3-1. What news is after the result? We find out that Barcelona drew their game. We are top of the league, boys. We are top of the league. Getafe in third. It... Mind blown. Don't know how Getafe are in third, but they're having a good season. This is a wrong thing to click on. This is a big game coming up now, though, against Atletico Madrid. We could not be more full strength for this game. Of course, we're going to have to stick Chuck Wazy up top with a striker situation. Gerard Moreno, please come back soon. I'm missing him. I'm really, really missing him. They've got a great team. Felix and Marlon up top, converted wingers into strikers. And we, we know it's a good team. We know it's not going to be an easy game. They're always difficult to play against. We've gone for Arbe to try and exploit that space down that side. I think there's going to be a lot of room there between him and Ribeiro there at the back. So hopefully Arbe can have a really good game there and Chuck Ways as well up top with his pace. Let's see how we get on. Massive one, this one. Really don't want to drop points. A misty, murky night here at home for Villarreal. And we just found out that Atletico Madrid have the best defence in the league. We've got the best attack against the best defence. That either means we're going to see no goals whatsoever or we're going to see a lot of them. Got all Marlon here already. Three goals in the last three matches. One to watch out for. We've got our superstar on the bench in Mr. Adeyemi. Top of the league at the moment. Villarreal. Sick for Atletico Madrid. Let's see what we can pull out of the bag in this one. Of course, the league of winners last year, Atletico Madrid. Certainly not showing that form this year. Oh, Marcos Acuna has done brilliantly there to find Arbe. The problem is he hasn't really got any help, so he's going to go alone and nearly scored. We know he can bang it from that angle, boys. We know he can bang it from that angle. And look how close that was, man. But Arbe getting the goal. Oh, man, so close. So close. Bright start from the boys. Naki Williams now. I'm going to try and play that to Arbe. And you can pretty much guarantee playing that every time as he tries to drag it back across. Arbe's always going to have the pace to make that run, which just makes him such a dangerous player to play against us. And Naki Williams just goes crunching through someone there. It just means you can always play that ball in behind. I think he could be a huge impact in this one. Williams there. If Arbe gets onto that, that is brilliant. And back across for the finish from Draxler. And there we go. 1-0 to Villarreal. What a moment. What a moment. Abbe again. I said he's going to have a huge impact in this match, and there was no doubt in that. What a fantastic run from the young man. Well, he's not that young anymore, is he? He's coming into his, his prime footballing years where he needs to be getting the game time. You requested we give him more. To be honest with you, I thought the ball was going to go to Chuck Waze. Eh? Draxler, I think, even give all black the eyes there and then slotted it bottom corner. Look, he gives him the eyes, boys, and then slices it bottom corner. Beautiful. Bit of play yet. Chuck Waze is going to try and lift that one over, and he's absolutely found him. What a great defensive play that was from Condogbia. That was sublime defensively. I thought Anaki Williams was going to smash that into the back of the net. Oh, Lorente's forward here, and he's managed to break free. Pau Torres has to stand him up. He's doing the best he can here, Pau Torres, without bringing him down. Koke. Okay. They're reluctant to shoot here, Atletico Madrid, which is maybe expectant. And in the end, that reluctance has caused them a problem. And we were literally about to break away, but that'll be half time, ladies and gents. One goal to the good, but... Bit of a stalemate going on at the moment. One well, mistake's been made here. And Aki Williams now knows he's got Robertone making that run. And if it's a good touch, it's not a bad one. Nathan Ake gets there. Oh, we're very unlucky there. And Oblak will clear it. Very, very unlucky. Robertone now just wants options, doesn't he? He's a good runner with the football. And he had it in an Aki Williams. And an Aki Williams do now. Oh, that's great footwork. And Aki Williams scores. Oh, boys. We've been waiting. We've been waiting for this man to arrive correctly. We have been waiting. And this is definitely that moment. Look at his touch past his man. Does him. And what a finish. You ain't stopping a hit like that. You just are not stopping a shot like that. 2-0 Villarreal. I would imagine that this game is done and dusted. Welcome to the yellow submarine, Mr. Anaki Williams. Centre stage now for that boy. Jeremy finds himself on the ball there. Got Vlahovic making a run ahead of him, and that is a great ball. And Aki Williams keeps it going as well. He might end up with a ball back here. Arbe fires that across to Vlahovic. What a ball that is! What a goal! What a goal! Oh, boy, that's one of the best goals I scored on FIFA, lads. That is one of the best goals that I have scored on FIFA. What a superb bit of football this is. Lovely stuff. Arbe back across. And Vlahovic just cushions that header beautifully. And the youngster, Jeremy Pino, I believe he's called in real life. That's what they call him anyway. He's got a lot of names. 
fires it into the top of the net. And that'll be 3-0 against last year's champions. And I remember when they smashed us 3-0. This feels very revenge-like. But what a got I mean, you can't complain, can you, Simone? You just cannot complain at that. They don't really come sweeter, and they don't really come better than that. When you're at home, you put in that level of performance and score the goals that we scored today. What a goal that was from Jeremy. Anaki Williams, that's exactly what I needed him to do. Now I feel a little bit more confident after that result that this could definitely be a title-challenging season here for the Yellow Submarine. They genuinely don't come much better than that, do they? They just do not. But it's not an easy run, this, because we take on Juve now, two days' time, Barcelona. So this is really a testing run for us. We need a good result here. This is match day four in the Champions League, and we're not exactly running the group, are we? Dortmund at the top with nine points, ourselves with four, Juve with two, and Lokomotiv with one. Juve win, it puts us in a really tricky position to qualify, and I would really like to do well in the Champions League this year. Plus, it's revenge against the team that knocked us out. A few tweaks and changes, as you'd expect, but not too many. Did you see the performance we just put on? Ade Aime comes in up top, Chuck Weze goes to his usual position of right midfield. Vicinio has to come in. There were a few tired legs, but then a few not so many. The one question mark might be over Matt Seymour at the back, but if I Never give him game time. He's never going to improve, is he? The young Frenchman gets a start tonight against Juve. Always a big in these ones. Always a big in the Champions League. And a place in the next round pretty much at stake between the two of us. Because I imagine Dortmund win this game, which will put them on 12 points. And pretty much comfortably through. So it's kind of between the two of us here. And whether we make it through. So this is pretty big. It's pretty important. Keeping players like... Pierre, Americ, Aubameyang, quiet would be nice. Same with Cristiano Ronaldo in this one tonight. It was a little bit of a group of death, if we're being honest with ourselves. A little bit of a group of death. Not exactly what you would have wanted. It hasn't been an easy group. I don't anticipate this will be an easy match. In fact, I think it'll be a very difficult one. I'm hoping... Oh, that's lovely. Instantly here. Yeah. Arbe now. Oh, it's got to be perfectly timed, and I don't think it has been. And Aki Williams can't score it anyway. Chesney saves it. It was perfectly timed. Maybe he should have gone for the chip there. But that's the damage we can do at the moment with Arbe down that wing. He's really coming into his own. This could be his season. I genuinely do believe this could be his season. I've been very impressed with him this year so far. You boys have as well. well Arbe's done really well to potentially win that back. And if I hear me, oh my god, he scores it! He scores it! What a finish! What a goal! I wish the camera was on right now because I've just lost my mind. What a finish that is from Ade Aime. I can't believe he's put that in the back of the net. Abe does great tracking back. And Aki Williams' ball is, is very deep. But that is spectacular from Ade Aime. Absolutely spectacular. Look at it. How he... Oh. Perfect. I see he does great there. Ade Aime now. He'll run with it. He's just going to run with it. He's got the pace. He's got the power. And AMA for two. And AMA for two. Absolutely fantastic. Now, we have taken a two-goal lead against Juve before, so I don't want to get too excited. But that was easy. Easy peasy there for Ade AMA, wasn't it? He just ran past everyone. They were so focused on Anaki Williams, which is an important run from him to pull the defenders out of place. Power and pace from Ade AMA and a powerful finish. Kinney now. Bamiang. I just know they're dangerous. That's all score passes last time. Oh, he's done really well there again. Oh, he's managed to get it inside, but we shield it and the font will collect it. Just have to be so wary that they have that ability at any moment to score past us. Even if you remember the knockout tie, they just banged in a couple of goals out of nowhere to send themselves through. It'd be nice not to have to play them again in a knockout tie. They've got too many superstars. Oh, good play here from Pablo Fonals now. Nice little ball forward to him. Purvis. We're just keeping him in the corner, and this is one thing I'd love to be fixed on FIFA 22, and unfortunately isn't fixed in the mod. They do cross a bit more on the mod, I will give them that, but they regularly do that, that weird run down in the corner. Relatively comfortable first half here for Villarreal. Away as well, Juve fans will be fuming, they've been poor, but we know they can turn it on out of nowhere. They've done it a few times against us now. And I, we're not safe. We are not safe. The coast is not clear just yet. I'm coming forward now, Juve. This would be the perfect way to start the second half. It's well saved from Lafont. Very, very well saved from Lafont. The young French goalkeeper needed to be as well. I think it was McKinney with the shot. Oh, he's through the legs as well. Pau Torres, but what a save. Fantastic. Lajovic now fresh on the pitch. That one was timed a lot better. And Aki Williams. Oh, he's saved by Chesney. 
Again, maybe should have gone with a chip there. Good ball from Vlahovic. He's slowly edging his way into the team with minutes. I'm excited to see what he can do here in a rotation bit this season. Jeremy. Knew he had the run of Mozo. That's lovely. Mozo knew he had the run of Vlahovic. Couldn't get it to him in time. And I think Anaki Williams is offside. I don't think this one will count. Oh, it has counted. It will count. Never mind. I will celebrate Anaki Williams with the goal as well. I was near enough positive that he was offside there for that move. But it's not been given us offside. And it's 3-0 again. Really pushing the pace now, Juve. But not finding anything. I don't know. I still think he was offside. But really pushing the pace now, Juve. Not finding anything. And we can just counter them. And that plays right into our hands. Number nine, Mr. Anaki Williams with another goal. We ended up coming up against a very poor Juve today. I don't know. They didn't play very well. It wasn't very good. Nothing like the first time we played against them. I found that pretty comfortable. The boys played some really good football again. That's back to back three nils. One against Atletico, one against Juve. Can I feel confident going into the Barca game? I'm not too sure. But that's a great result. And that really puts us in a good position now to qualify to the next knockout stage in the Champions League. Tiny, tiny bit of rotation in this one. We didn't have much choice. Vlahovic starts up top. This is a massive game for Vlahovic. This, this is big time. Quisons comes in at centre mid. Didn't have much choice there either. Moreno at left back. It's still a really strong team. I think we can still do well against Barcelona, but... This is going to be difficult. This has been a real tough run of games. And it doesn't get any easier here against Barcelona. They've got a really good squad. There's no doubt here in my mind. This is a huge occasion and a big opportunity to go, what, five points clear at the top with Barcelona chasing our tails. Now, Barca haven't been fantastic over this entire series, but they look like they've got their act together this season. The boys will be feeling that. There's pressure on this one, for sure. There's big pressure on this one. And I just hope we've got enough about us to take a draw, because at this stage, a draw would actually be a very good result. We've been fantastic going forward recently, and we've shored up defence in the last two matches, not conceding. But this is Barcelona, boys. This is a different kettle of fish. Only five goals conceded, 29 goals scored. They're now the new best defence since we put three past Atletico Madrid. It's foggy and it's misty, and I kind of like that on these big occasions, on these big nights, on these big matches. It's a big match for Vlahovic today. Getting their start up top. He'll be a little bit nervous, no doubt. Cuisance as well. The young Frenchman in centre midfield today. Getting the big opportunity. Robertone has been a rock. He's been a superstar for us so far. He needs to uh, he needs to stay fit though. And that is one of our biggest issues at the minute. As Vlahovic might get onto that, he doesn't. The process takes out the young. We need to keep our stars fit. And hope we can get the right result, uh, right, result, right result here against Barcelona. Instantly in the opening moments here, they're not letting us see too much of the football, making sure they see a lot of it. I don't think we've really had possession yet. There's been a couple of blocks, and I would say that that's probably the extent of our possession so far. The young now. Let's hope that this doesn't lead to a goal. Jesus nearly did turn some Akam. Pau Torres will get it away, and we just need to... Get a bit of possession. I don't want to rush the ball in this one. Oh, God, look at that. I'm marked all the way back. I don't want to rush it too much because I think we'll be found out. We've played ourselves into space and a numbers advantage. And if Adeyeme is strong enough, and he just wasn't, was he? Nicolas Sula was far stronger. Unlucky there for Adeyeme. Well, the free-flowing games have been fun. This so far doesn't feel like it's going to be one of them. It really doesn't. We're really struggling for possession, but that's a nice bit of play. That's broken up some space for Michael Cuisance to run into it. And Michael Cuisance, the young man with such a load of pressure and an opportunity to show what he can do today. Nearly makes it 1-0, but keep going, Mr. Samuel Trukwese. A good touch from him, maybe, and a good shot. And another save from Testegen. The pressure is mounting on Barca now from us. Well, a really unfortunate injury here for us. Alberto Moreno. Guess who won't put a left-back on the bench? Felipe Anderson's going to play left-back here against Barcelona for the rest of the game. See how this one goes on. They've got a free kick here as well. See what they could do with it. I don't want Messi over too many free kicks or too many opportunities. I think we've got more height than they do. Is that going to be another free kick for them? It's very frustrating. I think we've got more height than they do. We just don't want to give him a clear shot at goal. That's what we certainly don't want. Messi in a clear shot at goal screams danger. And I'm not sure if he's going to try and take that one but he didn't I would have gone for that there to be honest oh but he doesn't need to but he doesn't need to Messi makes it 1-0 regardless what a finish that is 
Absolutely superb. Not what I was expecting to happen. We clear it, but it's only as far as De Jong. And then that, oh, sorry, Don, Donny van der Beek. And then that is easy. Or is it De Jong? I always get those two mixed up. I think it's van der Beek. But anyway, it's a beautiful finish there for Messi. I'll be half time as well with that. And Messi always seems to cause us issues. Always starts from a free kick as well. Always starts from a set piece. He, uh, he usually scores it straight out, but... That makes the uh, halftime team talk a little bit easy there, doesn't it, for Coleman? We'll kick off the second half. It's a little bit worrying that we do have Felipe Anderson there, isn't it, at the back? But this is a big half of football as Vlahovic gives it away straight away. It's a big half of football. We need to get a goal back. We could be leapfrogged here by Barcelona. And after playing so well recently, that's not the outcome we want. It is De Jong. I always get them confused. I always have done. Coutinho now. Oh, that's fantastic from Samakam. Oh, but he goes and gives it away. I don't think he had too many options. Sergio Roberto now. Coutinho makes his way into the box. Sergio Roberto. De Jong. Oh, and Pau Torres wins it back. And now there might be a little bit of an opportunity to break. The problem is, is the pace out wide here isn't fantastic. Felipe Anderson's got this now. Felipe Anderson dribbles into the box. Oh, he tries to cut one way and then the other. He doesn't. Vlahovic, though, stands that up fantastically. Back there to Cuisons. Can he get into the box and fire off the shot? He can. It's very tame. A very tame effort. Gweze here. Finds Adi here, mate. Chueze was still making the win. It's going to be Vlahovic. But it's, it's just straight at to Stegen. And can't break them down at the moment. Well, there's been some good performers, but we're going to make a double sub here. Vlahovic off for Inaki Williams. That's nothing on Vlahovic. Neither striker's done well. I've just got a lot of faith at the moment in Adi Aime. Cuisance again had a, had a big moment, didn't he? Robert Tone will come on for him. Inaki Williams now might be found. He has been. And he might find Robert Tone for the goal back. To Stegen saves it. And what's he given? Is he blown for handball? I think he has. I think the referee there has blown for handball. And Robert Tone was just about to just gently head of that into the back of the net. Still 1-0 Barcelona. That will be that. Barcelona have just done enough to get by today. Really frustrating. A few opportunities to Stegen was fantastic. I have to give him that. Messi with the goal. I just think we're probably not at Barca's level. I have to be honest. And we're going to need a bit of luck this season in order to win the league. And we didn't quite have that one in today's game. We just didn't. And they did. Great goal by Messi. What a damn squid to end the episode on, boys. We will be second in the league. A little bit devastated, but it's still very close. Real Madrid are chasing, and they might catch up. They might just catch up. I think we're probably at a stage where we're definitely good enough to challenge for the title. Are we good enough to win it? I'm not sure. Those moments right there, you need to win those games in this league because Barca will not drop many points this season, and you can't lose it. The big one is you can't lose it. Once they scored, we just couldn't get back into it. They will keep their best defence in the league this season. But anyway, boys, that's it for another episode. Again, I'm just going to say it. I know I'm shilling. I'm shilling like mad, aren't I? But we're so close to 1K. 1K means a lot on YouTube because it means YouTube partnership. And we're very close to it. And also, I just want to keep on growing. It's big. It's a big feeling to just keep on growing. But thank you very much for watching, boys. If you are new, sub. If you aren't new, like it. And if you are new, like it. Just like it. It helps us in the algorithm. I don't know where I was going with that. I just went off. I tend to run off on tangents or rants. You'll get used to it here on this channel. Thank you. I will see you in the next one. Hopefully we can keep form going. I still think we're in great form. It's that one lost to Barcelona.